Okay, here we go. So this is another uh, trick that I've been using, um, is being able to draw what you've just learned. Okay, so I know if you're not an artist, you don't have to be. <laughs> Can you draw lines? Well, sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how I go through um, memorizing some really complicated anatomy. Okay, this works really well with anatomy, especially if you need to know innervations, like I'm trying to learn right now. Okay. Um, helps you get a visual map, a mental map of what you're learning. And it, sometimes things become extremely obvious. You're like, oh, no wonder it's named that because this is the location, <laughs> uh, which I figured out on this thing. So I first draw this out. It looks like a freaking mess. Look at this oh, mess. It's just a lot of information, but I'm gonna attempt to redraw it. So the way I do it, as I draw it out, I've taken a photo of this so I know what this looks like. And then I'm going to try to draw this from memory. All right, here we go. So I erased the whole thing, everything on this. Let's get rid of all these little dotties because, you know, here we go. All right, now. There's one trick that I have to do for me to kick butt in this, is I need some music. through this and this is the best reason why you need to be drawing these out is that you can start seeing patterns okay um, we like so I was having trouble memorizing this one and this one just lines they may look like lines to you <laughs> they are lines <laughs> but um uh, the renal the renal um, plexus and the arteriorenal ganglion um, it didn't really make sense, but then I'm like, oh, wait a second. This one innervates kind of at the renal part. Okay, like more just the kidneys. This is like the junction between the kidney and the aorta. That's why it's called the aorta renal ganglion. <laughs> so that's just one example. I'm not going to finish this. I've already done this multiple times. I know how to do it. But um, that's the reason why you need to draw these things out because sometimes it can give you a visual map. Okay, so like, let me just give you one more example. These things are the mes. This is the superior mesenteric. This is the inferior mesenteric, and there's a uh, ganglion that innervates right over here, the lumbar. I saw the word interme uh, intermesenteric plexus, and that didn't make any sense to me. But then, if you know this is the superior mesenteric and the inf inferior mesenteric, and the space between it's the intermesenteric, like oh no duh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's his name, you know, so so You know draw stuff out, you know, it's a good way for your brain to figure out what you're what you're learning um, If you've seen another video of mine, I would take a photo of this and then put um, Anki cards. I actually don't suggest doing that and the main reason is sometimes you're not given photos of The things that you are gonna have to know you're just what the whole prompt is just words and you need to be able to um, go through this information in your head just by words alone. So this is a good way to map it out, get a good idea of space, you know, especially because we're not having access to an actual anatomy lab. Um, but, uh, you know, you should also be able to recite this in words, you know, and be able to understand it all in words. All right. Hope that was helpful. Now go kick some booty.